One of President Obama's most controversial policies has employees and administrators at a local medical office very upset. They're blaming the Affordable Care Act for an increase in their new insurance rates. News for Tucson's Lauren Reimer tells us why. It's the time of year when many companies and employees get ready to sign up for next year's insurance policies. At one local business, employees were caught off guard when they saw their projected rates more than double. For the last several years, Joe Higgins has purchased insurance through his employer. I have two kids, my wife, myself, and the, the four of us. And the bad news is uh, our rates are going up quite a bit. My monthly bill went from 479 up to about 1170 bucks or so. His deductible also went up. We were kind of promised $2,500 a year for a family would be the insurance cost during the uh, election process and during Obamacare's passage. So I was, I'm, I feel like I've been gypped. Because of the more than 200% increase, his company decided to stop offering group insurance. It's now encouraging employees to find coverage through the health care We are a health care provider. You know, it's really a sad state when we cannot provide for our employees a decent group health plan because of the law changes. And the group's doctors say this means more paperwork for them and less time with patients. Well, I love what I do, but they're not making it as much fun as it used to be. Matter of fact, it's, some days it's pretty miserable, the, the hoops that one has to jump through.